Le président, vous asseoir. Le président. The court is now in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. In regard to the facts concerning the establishment of S21 and uh, the former psychiatric hospital in Takmao. The greffier, could you please verify the attendance of the parties to the proceedings? Parties présentes au débat. The greffier. Le greffier. Your Honor, the President, all parties are Monsieur present. Le Président, Madame Thank Monsieur you. Les juges, je vous informe que toutes les parties sont présentes. The President. Le président, the security. Je vous Officials of the detention facility, please bring the accused to the dock. Responsable de la sécurité, de bien vouloir amener l'accusé à la barre. President, uh, president, yesterday it was uh, civil party lawyers group four's turn yeah. to put uh, questions to the Maman accused and uh, the lawyer still had a uh, few more questions and uh, the questions were interrupted by the uh, adjournment. Uh, now, civil party lawyers group uh, four can still proceed uh, putting the remaining questions to the accused concerning the à poursuivre les questions facts at issue. À the floor is yours, Mr. Lawyer. Au sujet des, euh, faits liés à la création Mr. Hong Kim Soon, thank you, Mr. President. Maître Hong Kim Soon, your honors. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Madame et Messieurs les juges. I would like to put more questions to the accused concerning the establishment of S21 and the Kamau prison. S'agissant de la création de S21 et de la prison I de Takmao. Asked Hier, questions concerning the diagram. And uh, today, as uh, very, as already confirmed by ah, Judge Lavenge, it concerned the diagram. And now et the question is that uh, regarding que the detention cells at S21, as you mentioned uh, yesterday, dit, the accused, you said uh, hier, the order was were made by you directly vous, to haul to build a small individual cell. C'est-à-dire l'ordre de Did you uh, construire des cellules individuelles. Order your colleagues, uh, comrade Hall, to build collègues, the Hall, individual cell based on your, your own initiative or from the order chef, of your superior? Ou s'agissait-il d'un ordre émanant de vos supérieurs? L'accusé. The accused. I already <laughs> stated several in uh, several occasions about this, but I may have to repeat uh, to clarify the position. I did not ask for orders from 
the superior because it in the framework of S21 to uh, manage uh, their own work. I order four uh, to uh, create such an individual cell because Hall was informed and was aware of such an individual cells left over from the French period uh, 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 taken from the PJ. Um, prison. Mr. Hong Kong Soon, thank um, you. You said uh, you never de, visited uh, the buildings uh, in which uh, the individual cells were built. After those individual cells were created, de la construction de ces cellules individuelles. Après la création de ces cellules individuelles, who made the, de the decision to place those individuals, uh, uh, prisoners in those individual cells. Individuels dans ces cellules individuelles. The accused. Mm -hmm. I would like to inform the chamber and Mr. President and Mr. Kumsoon. These are two separate issues. Nous parlons One ici de deux questions. The order to build those cells. Um, It was my order. C'est moi qui ai donné l'ordre de construire as les cellules in the power, as the chairman of S21, en tant que directeur de S21. And about the j'en avais le pouvoir. Ordinary prisoners to be detained in those individual cells de or in the room. De détenir ces prisonniers that was the responsibility eh bien, of Camarade Ho. De la responsabilité de Camarade That's what Ho. he did on. That's what he did uh, routinely, and he was responsible jour jour before me as the chairman and before the party in order to prevent the prisoners from talking to each other. Um, était or when they were interrogated together, so that was the sole responsibility of his. And he had to be responsible before me and before the party. Thank you, says the lawyer. Um, My such question. In general, during the, the democratic Cambodia regime, as in the other institutions, they are used to be the principle of competition. So, in the ST1 office, were there any measures donc, dans le as the initiative as the chairman of S21 to promote que, the competition of the good qualifications of good work quality in each unit or section? In terms of evaluation of the quality of the work in each unit or in each section, l'accusé. Your Honor, Mr. President. The competition in the Democratic Cambodia regime existed. Le, sous le régime du Cambodia démocratique existait. So, what did they compete against? Et they donc, competed against the movement, as you can see in the documents of those interrogators. That is three tons per hectare. On And for the interrogators, they had to get Et clear confessions. So that is, they, they had to compete against the movement clairs. to compare donc, themselves. Devaient, for example, um, for self-building, uh, um, also had to compete against the movement. Exemple, Thank you, uh, says the lawyer. Uh, pour la construction des bâtiments, il y avait In my fourth question, it relates Maitre to the consistency or similarity between M13 and the establishment of principle uh, at S21, the self-criticism meetings et le travail d'autocritique, les réunions d'autocritique. At what level of the cadres or the superiors hold the self-criticism meetings together with you, the accused. This matter 
is a rule stated clearly in the party's statute, so I do not want to talk in detail. As a chairman of the S21 committee, the fortnightly meeting or the self-criticism meeting was held among the three of us, i.e. myself, Comrade Ho, and Comrade Hoi. So this is the principle that we had to implement. However, because of the workload and because of our trust amongst each other, so we really hate that meeting. If I made a mistake, then they would tell me. If they made a mistake, then I would tell them. So that was our routine, uh, routine operation. As for the self-criticism for the entire unit, there would be my opinion during the assembly meeting that is would be for the entire S21 office. I still remember one assembly which was held on the 27th of April 1977, 1977 where my superior son Saint also attended, that was the time that I had to pledge myself to be criticized by the members in the unit. I would like to emphasize that the, the reason I remember this date clearly because it was the birthday of, of my child. Brother Monai did not attend because he had to take his wife to the hospitals. So the members within the unit had the, had the right to criticize me at the time. Thank you, says the lawyer. As you already informed the chamber regarding, the, regarding joining or becoming a a full rise member when you were imprisoned in 1968, you said the person who introduced you to the party was Comrade Ho. Am I correct on this point? The accused. Comrade Ho, when I was imprisoned, we were imprisoned at the same time. At that time, he was still in the youth league, and I was a candidate member. And when I was at the PJ prison, the person who introduced me was So Sin, the member of the uh, standing committee. He was the cadre who introduced me to become a full rights member. Thank you, says the lawyer. As you already informed the bench of the judges, regarding the working or the implementation of the CPK policies and in in your role as the chairman of the S21 office, which was similar to the M13 office, you already informed the chamber if in order or a direction is issue, was issued from the upper echelon, you would not object, you had to follow, otherwise you would be beheaded. So with the direction from Son Sen and Nun at the time when you were the chairman of the S21 office, these two people which one had more influence on you? The accused. L'accusé. As a leading cadre, their orders we had to abide. And that is the fact. Eh bien, nous However, obéir aux ordres. Ceci est un fait. Cependant, these two individuals had their own specific characteristics. Son Sen has different characteristics and Uncle Noon has different characteristics. De, de As for Son Sen, when he told us, then we could express our opinions to give him reasons to discuss with him. And if our opinions 
Will contact literally to his, he would take up his class and then he would think and then he would make judgment on the reasons and then he would give the decision. For example, you had to follow this way or that way in order for the benefit of the party or the revolution. So with Sunsen, I was clear in implementing his orders then the orders from Nunchi. Thank you, says the lawyer. So, in relation to the orders from the superior, and as you have two superiors, that is Sunsen and Nunchi, earlier you informed the chamber of Nunchi's order regarding the relocation to the Cotsrow area. And you objected to it, or you explained to Nunchi that because at June 8, nobody looked after that location because of the huge burial site. Am I correct on this point? The accused. Before I answer the question, I would like to state the facts on the matter clearly. I was not under the direct orders of these two superiors at the same time. When Son Sen went to the battlefield, then Uncle Noon, who was his superior, would come to meet me. That was from the 15th of August, 77. So that is the fact. Secondly, the principle of constructing the S21 office at Comsro, it was the principle of the party decided by Pol Pot, as I hate I dare to say that because the 15th of August 75, when I went with Nat to receive the presentation on the establishment of S21, Sun Sen, my superior, said that your location was at the Copsro camera. But because Kamrat John, his messenger, who was stationed at the railway station, was too busy, he couldn't let us go there. So, for the matter of urgency, he asked me to collect those the books. So the Copsro location uh, was the actual les, principle les donc, of the party. Uh, and uh, finally, probably it was in party. November 78, and called Noon said, Again, comrade, uh, the, the, your location, uh, as indicated by the party, uh, was at Copsro, and I responded, yes, I realized that, brother, I called him brother at the time. Bien, oui, je réalise ça. Uh, C'est bien ce que je réalise, uh, mon frère. But the, the issue is that we could not leave uh, Chiang Ai. I wanted to remain at Chiang Ai because there were a lot of uh, bodies there. If we left uh, Chiang Ai and people go there and uh, dig those uh, bodies, that would, not, uh, that would not be a good thing. He did not make a decision immediately, but later on, he told me that the party decided that you can have the location at Chiang Ai. Thank you, says the lawyer. I have another question. Chiang Ai. Merci, répond Maître Ankimsoon. J'ai une autre question à vous poser. You told the chamber. Vous avez dit devant la chambre. You told the chamber about a saying. And I would like you to explain uh, that saying. For example, the word berge or dog, or the other saying, open the crap to show its shit. In general, in order for the chamber to easily understand it, what does it actually mean between you and the party and between you and your superior? I think uh, for the Khmer people it's uh, easy to understand. And probably it's, it's not uh, that difficult for the French or the English. For example, the word berger or dog, when you are sincere to them, they regard you as an instrument of their service. 
de l'eau oh, in, in the party euh, it would say the clean party, instrument of the party vous êtes un instrument fidèle loyal du parti à we chaque took, étape we did not betray the party if the party pointed eh bien, us to euh, the left we euh, go to the left or the right we go to euh, the right dans, euh, and for the Khmer people to understand, I use the word berger or dog. Droite, that is number one. And the, the second one is about open the press to show its shit. Euh, idée. That is, we revealed euh, whatever euh, inside which de, was de les, not necessary. For dedans, example, when you open up the crab, Then you saw, you see the shit and the, the crab already is, is already dead. So Donc, we don't want to talk about whatever that would help us kill immediately. For instance, if I say I will not do the police work because the police work of the Khmer Rouge is criminal. No, I would not dare to say that. So we have to find a means. And as I reported already, in order to say it in a different way. Inutile, ce que that is, for example, de all the confessions exemple, were untrue when euh, there was mass arrest euh, from euh, ne from pas the la north. Réalité, and I told son said, et, oh, the, the exemple, names were unlikely. Euh, and then he said, come at look, the confession euh, of Kuhn, you had to look. look. Et, so euh, it means he Noon, did not believe the confession already. But then he himself had to believe the confession. So to sum up, it means when you open the crap to show its shit, it means we do not want to say anything about the party or we would be beheaded. So this is a general term used in the Khmer context. Thank you, says the lawyer. Couper, on, you la tête, already perdez la vie. stated to the chamber Mais that before vous avez déjà you déclaré. took your position Donc, at S21, uh, you received a training uh, as asked by the judge. Euh, and that you did not write your euh, biography de, uh, de la about your uncle whose wife was the nephew of the null. But you, are, euh, you informed about these two some relation, senior euh, brothers. And can you tell the chamber who were femme, those senior brothers? Que, euh, the accused. Vous avez, Thank you, uh, Kamsun, euh, for this. De cela My the first brother was Chai Kim Hu, alias Hock. Euh, He was not with me at the time. Alors, réponse de la question. I recall on this second who I spoke because euh, when he was imprisoned, hein. il était emprisonné. He gave me some euh, examples. Even before I was imprisoned, he said that when he was imprisoned, his wife went around to, to look for people to bribe, and he threatened his wife. Even if she bribed somebody, he would not step out of the prison. So he showed me his actual stance si uh, with the party. But when I was in prison, personne, eh bien, il ne pouvait sortir. Et donc, I was il close to brother Sip Sien, or Saw Sien, the member of the standing uh, committee. Du, de so, comité, uh, talking about my brother, uh, my mother, correct? Donc, s'agissant de ma mère, I told brother Sien that my mother Sien que ma mère communicated with her relatives who was the nephew of Lord Nol. At that time, he was not yet the uh, head of state. Uh, and I called him Tanol Tanol at the time. I did not Nol. call him General or His Excellency yet. I did not call him General or His Excellency yet. So I was asked to donc, write a brief, a, a, a petition de faire une and to have a nice uh, rice and Petition. some food in order to give to to Lonol and it, it's going to be prepared by my aunt. Que, que ma and then I told Brother Sien about all this and that I replied to my mother that donc, moi, I tried to explain to him. So the brother that I remember that I told about this story donc, was him. Cette histoire, c'était à ce frère-là. At that time, it was histoire. Brother Sien. And later on, when I uh, met Brother Hope in let, at a later stage, 
I informed him. I did not inform one way or something about this matter at all. So when I talk about the Sydney brothers, it was about these two. Chakam Ho alias Hop and Saw Sien alias Safe Sien. My last question, says the lawyer, Chai Kum Ho, alias Hawk, the person whom you told about your biography, he was your associate or colleague who worked at S21, and as you said, he managed the daily operation. Is this correct? The accused. Uh, probably you do not remember all the names. Peut-être que vous ne vous rappelez pas de tous les noms. Brother Chai Kum Ho Frère Chai Kum Ho was at the energy was at the energy and I wanted to have him to become the chairman of S21 when Nat left. After the party removed uh, Nat from S21, I did not want to be a chairman. And I requested my superior, Sun Sen, for Brother Kum Ho, Elise Hawks, to become the chairman. And at that time, I didn't know about the party assignment of him as the, as the head of the energy section. But then, at the time, my superior threatened me. Sun Sen threatened me. Deutsch, what is it? What is it about the S21? After you talk about that, I dare not to say anything. Qu ne va pas so, Chai Kam Ho, alias Ho, was donc, a former cadre who educated uh, me from uh, an early stage. The lawyer, is this um, correct? The comrade Ho and Chai Kam Ho, is it the same person? Maître the accused, uh, I think you are mistaken. Comrade Ho, my deputy, his original name was Kim Kam Wa. No. Uh, alias Ho, était, en fait, comme and Chai Kam Ho, alias Ho, was a different person. Était une autre personne. Il Thank you, de deux Mr. President. I finish my question. Uh, maître, uh, je vous remercie. Uh, Monsieur le Président, j'ai terminé uh, the la série de questions que je voulais next. poser. Monsieur le Président, ensuite... It's time the defense counsel to put questions to the accused concerning the facts of S21 and the Takamau prison. If you would wish to do so, the floor is yours. Si vous le souhaitez, vous avez Mr. Kassel, what? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Defense Council do not have any questions to Les ask the accused at the moment. Thank you. The President. Le président. Judges uh, of the trial chamber, would you wish to put uh, any further questions si to des questions the accused? À if you would wish to do so, si the floor is yours. Uh, okay, look. The President, uh, Judge Jean Marc, uh, you take uh, uh, you take the floor. Une simple. Précision par rapport à, à la dernière question de l'avocat de la partie civile concernant Chai Kim Hoor et Or. Vous expliquez que ce n'était pas les deux mêmes personnes. On vous a demandé si Chai Kim Hoor était venu à S21. Il y est venu, mais dans quelles conditions The accused, Your Honor, Chai Kum Ho, alias Hock, was the secretary of the Energy Ministry in charge of gasoline and distribution of fuel. Finally, there was an implication in the confessions, and Superior arrested uh, him and brought him in uh, late of 1978. Chai Kum alias Hock, was arrested. This is the individual I uh, told uh, Judge uh, Marcel Le Monde uh, that I requested to the superior to have uh, them released uh, along with another person, Mr. Nya, 
Monsieur Nia. At the beginning, uh, the decision to release was attempting, début, but later on, I was warned avait, and uh, threatened not to release him. Début, and later on, he died at S21, and his photo still remains, and that he was smashed there. Il a donc été écrasé à S21. The president, uh, the proceedings concerning the establishment of S21 and uh, the Takmau prison come Alors, nous to an end. Avec la création de Next, uh, et la the chamber would like to inform all parties that the chamber is going to conduct uh, the proceedings concerning the policy of the CPK uh, regarding uh, S21. Mr. Kang Eo, we now proceed to another fact, the third one, as laid out in the schedule, a fact to be raised in the proceedings. And now we come to the third fact uh, concerning the implementation of the CPK policy. Point, the chamber would like to know if you can tell the court and, uh, about what you can recall regarding the implementation of the CPK policy. The floor is yours. The accused. First, I would like to respectfully tell the court that uh, the CPK's policy was absolute and it had been in place long ago. Celui qui avait été mis en place il y a applied since I started to be appointed as the chairman of S21. People who were arrested and uh, accused as being enemies could never be released. When they approached the S21, and, and at S21, the same policy was still implemented. People who were arrested were not be released, were not released. I would like to give you an example that we had no right uh, to release anyone. Uh, since the beginning of the establishment of S21, NAD and DAI worked together. At that time, Sonsen, our superior, told us that there was a young man called Gong so Thien, alias Thun. I don't know whether he was uh, from uh, the Northwest, uh, and then si we were asked not to beat uh, him to extract confession, and we, we were asked to wait. And later on, we were told that the party or Anka did not uh, want to release this person and that he would uh, be interrogated uh, as scheduled. I would like uh, to uh, tell the court that that person was not released. Least, and pas été the reason that the people were not released uh, pas été was 
genuine that uh, later on I asked Brother Nyo to be released and I asked that uh, Mr. Chai Kum Ho be released but the upper echelon did not agree to have them released. Uh, and I would like to also confirm that Pol Pot himself did not recognize his right to release anyone. For example, the person named Ton, the, uh, 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 dentist, uh, Pon, he was arrested and sent to S21. A few days later, brother, uh, sorry, Uncle Noon, said that, uh, uh, please do not uh, kill the pon, uh, the dentist. Uh, please keep him to treat our dental methods. And uh, here, uh, even he himself could not uh, make a decision to uh, release the person, but to keep him for further use at the... Uh, at S21. So we only could uh, decide uh, that the people could not be smashed and keep them to serve uh, at S21 or regard, in, uh, regard them as semi prisoner, as I may say. So I would like uh, to go back to the beginning when I told you that when people were pursued as enemies and arrested uh, and sent to S21, no one was entitled to release them, even, the, even Pol Pot, the most senior person of uh, the Khmer Rouge, acknowledged that he did not uh, have the right to release uh, people. Next, I would like to also emphasize that this line, what was the line? It was the party's line. The party's line, as stipulated in the first document in, uh, adopted in 1960 when uh, Communist Party Cambodia was established. There were two. One, the what we call strategic line. Number two, we call the uh, strategic policy to gather forces, to gather enormous forces to fight uh, the enemies. So these is the strategic policy, and so far as I remember in the CPK, before 1970, no internal rank was purged or, or smashed. Uh, I, I may say that one was uh, uh, smashed, uh, but uh, they did not dare to do anything to harm uh, the lives of uh, people who regarded as internal people. I could say that because Koi Chun uh, said that he smashed Jong. So that's only one case that internal uh, person was uh, smashed. And we have another people, other people, including Siu Heng and Yon, and, but I, as I told you, uh, the parties did not want to uh, purge uh, internal uh, cadres before 1970 because they exercised uh, what we call the policy to mobilize front forces. And then they had uh, the free zone or liberated zone only after then that they started to exercise uh, the smash line to kill people, to save the life of people in the liberated zone. From 1973, then they exercised uh, what we call the uh, class line. And uh, people in Amlian, 50 to 60 people of them were regarded as imperialists. Sorry, uh, uh, correction, feudalists. 
correction. And, uh, Féodaliste, smash. corrige l'interprète. Et ces personnes ont été écrasées. Like, uh, Taylor Tsai was regarded as capitalist and the village chief uh, Poon, for example, regarded as Poon, the capitalist. And later on, after the 17th of suite, April, after the victory, avril, there are still documents as proof. They started to implement à mettre en œuvre the class anger policy or line to against uh, la colère uh, exploiting class vis -vis so class struggle started et uh, c'est ainsi And, que la lutte des uh, classes a commencé generals were arrested And this led to arrêtés. more arrests because of Et this, what we call the uh, class struggle. And when later on people were arrested, suite, uh, they, they were arrêtés, regarded uh, or fallen in the policy of uh, class struggle. Even Mang Hutat was Même also uh, arrested. A aussi été arrêté. And you think Cri, alias non, non criticized uh, Patriarch who that uh, had uh, several wives and then qui avait plusieurs femmes. this denounce uh, suggested that uh, who that could not escape from being arrested enfin, by Division 703. And there are still documents uh, that can be found in the notebooks uh, uh, of Brother Mom Nai from the 24th to the 27 in 1975. People were evacuated. Foreigners were expelled évacués, from the country, and we were prepared uh, for victory by doing so. So in conclusion, it is ainsi. clear that Donc, en conclusion, je est clair uh, the Communist uh, Party of Kampuchea cannot avoid uh, being prosecuted of uh, the crimes they have committed. Uh, so when I refer to CPK, everyone was involved, uh, including me myself. Uh, but uh, as uh, those people in the upper excellence and uh, those who were direct perpetrator, perpetrators were those from the military uh, and through the introductory submission of the co-investigating judges you can see that de, it is true that those soldiers under the order of the secretary of each zone had to do that and later on there was uh, the uh, the role of the suite, police office of all sector to implement uh, de the decision de of the 30th of March uh, 1976. So the standing committee of the Central Committee Donc, issued that and Pol Pot initially uh, provided, uh, gave the authority uh, to four groups of people to kill people based on his philosophy, his uh, idea that uh, it serves the interests of uh, that four groups. As I already stated, and, in, and, and as seen in the closing order and final submission of the co-prosecutors. I ainsi que now would like to ask your honors leave to project maintenant demander la permission de on la the projector d'afficher un document à l'écran. Document Uh, this document 
page uh, ERN La cote ERN, ce document est la suivante, 1-3-6 The President, uh, the, the court official is instructed to uh, place that uh, document on the overhead uh, projector. Can you read? Le président, j'aimerais maintenant demander au greffier of the de decision lire le passage concernant the 30th of March 26. That is point one and two. Says the president. Il y a point petit un et petit deux. Number two, rush to smash. Inside and outside the rank, request one to have a framework to implement the absolute revolutionary plan of ours. Second, to strengthen the communist democratic communist regime. That is to strengthen our state authority within the framework at the base. The decision is of the standing committee around the central office. It has to be decided by the central committee. The president, can you read it slowly so that the translator can translate it and it's also to be accurate in the transcript? The graphy. Two. Decision to smash inside and outside the rank. Request one. To establish a framework to, Im to implement our absolute revolution. Two. To strengthen the democratic socialism. This is in order to strengthen our state authority. That is, within the framework at the basis. The zoned standing committee has to decide around the central office. The decision is to be made by the central office committee. For the independent sectors, it has to be decided by the by the standing committee. And for the central military, it has to be decided by the general staff. The president, be accused. Do you have anything else to add regarding uh, this letter on policy of the party? The accused, Your Honor, Mr. President. Monsieur le président. I would like to uh, add a bit further Je on the chose. right to smash inside Sur and outside the ranks. Les gens au sein so the, et à the standing the parties committee, headed by Paul Pot, Il y avait le decides to give the right to smash to these four groups. So that is, within the inside the ranks, it refers to all the cadres at all levels within the party. Au sein des parti, du the parti, request to, for this niveaux. implementation, Et donc, la de mise en œuvre I would de, not de like to politique. elaborate on that. Je ne pas However, I would like to state cela. that within the framework of the basis, it has to be decided by the zone standing committee. Par le comité permanent des zones. So, the person who had the decision Donc, to decide at the basis, de it was base, mainly the secretary of the zone. Le secrétaire de la zone. At each location, 
the police were regarded as a hypocrite. It means whomever they served, it was for the interest of their of the, the of the boss or the superior. So at the basis, whoever strived to compile the confessions to the upper echelon, the zone secretary would make a decision to decide if a person is to let live or to, to die. And let me jump uh, number two and go through to number three. For the independent sectors, it has to be decided by the standing committee. So if we recap, one is within the, uh, the base framework. It has to be decided by the zone standing committee. And number three, for the independent sectors, the standing committee would decide. The word standing committee Ici, est dit, uh, refers to the central standing committee led by Pol Pot. Central, so the independent Pol sectors had no right to Donc make their own decisions. It has to be decided de by the standing committee. And why is it so? Because in the independent uh, sectors, if I, from what I can recall, for example, at the Kampong Saum sector, me, Mut, or brother Mut, was the was the secretary of the independent sector of Kampong Saum. He was, at the time, the assistant at the standing committee. He was not just a, a full rights member of the standing committee. As such, he had no rights to decide for the arrest of any cadre. Only after you became a full rights member of the standing committee, like brother, brother Port or brother C or brother Niem, then they would have the rights to make decisions. So then for the in independent sectors, then Pol Pot would decide. And for the center army, it has to be decided by the general staff. That is the secretary of the general staff, nobody else. Only the secretary, Sun Sein, that is brother 89, who has the right to make that decision. Therefore, the people who were sent to S21 or who were sent to other police offices, as I informed the chamber yesterday, it means those persons already, their face already decided. And those who were sent to Chiang Ai, that is the crimes on the people whose fate was already decided by these people. So that's why I would like to reiterate this point. And that is my conclusion on the, on the explanation of this document to your honor, Mr. President. Mr. President, you responded uh, continually on the politics, on the policy towards the enemy at S21, that is after the 1970. There was implementation of the policy towards the enemy. And the question is, before that, was there any document as this document, or it was the information was only disseminated during a meeting or during assembly of the party or, or at the zone or the special sectors uh, committee's meeting. The accused, Mr. President, A decision document of the uh, Central Committee on Other Matters is a confidential document, and it was kept only at the central office. I, the chairman of S21, never saw this document. I only saw it during the investigation phase of the co-investigating charges. 
This is a very confidential document of the party. So in order to make it easy to understand, I would like to explain a bit further to the Mr. President. There were three kinds of documents of the party. One is the most confidential document type. And this is that uh, uh, document, and another one is the 9th October uh, document. So these are called the most confidential document. And the other documents belong to a group called the internal party documents. For example, the statutes of the party. It's an, in, it's an internal party's document, and if you are not a member, you did not have the right to read, to study, or to discuss on the internal party's documents. And the third category is called an open document, which is openly disseminated, for instance. The revolutionary flag is an open document. The Democratic Cambodia's constitution is a, an open document. Uh, radio broadcasting is also an, an open document. So to sum up, this is just to make it clear, whatever we did, we did based on the orders. And I only saw this document recently. So this is the information for you, Your Honor. Mr. President, Mr. Kang Kai-il, please uh, try to understand the question clearly. The question was, previously, it means before this document existed, the implementation of the policy towards the ed enemy that is to smash. So before the establishment of the Sante Bal or the security office of M13, at that time, during the implementation or the operation of the M13 office, was similar document or any decision from the standing committee exist? The accused. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to uh, res respond as the uh, following. I did not any see such document in my hand. We did based on the order and believe that those people who were sent to us, they were already responsible before the history that is, they were sent to be smashed. As I already pointed to the president of the chamber earlier, I live until today. I do not dare to decide to make any decision to arrest anybody. If they were sent to me, I received them. If I was asked to, to torture for interrogation, yes, I just follow it. So to sum up, I never saw such document. I only implemented based on the order that I received. Mr. President, similarly, if we look at the chronology of the operation that is based on the content of this document, we state it's the 30th of of March 1976, and the operation of the establishment of S21 started from the 15th of August 75. That is, the establishment and the operation of S21 existed one, for one year, or nearly one year, or eight months, before this document before this decision of the Standing Committee, of the Central uh, Committee. And you uh, stated previously that you followed the uh, principle of the party's policy towards the enemy that used to be implemented at M13 to be implemented at S21 without any other uh, decisions. The accused, the, the form of the operation or implementation, yes, that was followed from the M13. Effectivement, nous avons suivi les mêmes principes établis à M13. Mr. President, Le Président, during the initial stage 
of the establishment of S21 office. That is, during the period alone, Elias Nat was the chairman and you were the deputy. Nat, on était le directeur et vous étiez son adjoint. Was there any instruction on the protocol? on the political implementation, on the assignment or organization of duties uh, from Sunset for the operations to be implemented at S21, the instructions relative au fonctionnement of the soient mises en œuvre. L'accusé. Mr. President, we both cooperated to work fully and there was no uh, clear document at the time from my, what I can recall, and we started uh, from October. At that time, I frequently went together to meet the superior. So mo both of us went to see the superior and to receive order for our daily operation from for one period to another. For example, when we went to meet him, I remember that. The first person that was accused of being an enemy, the CIA, that is, Liu Sosawanta, an electrical engineer, was arrested from Saatouj, and he thought, and he asked me about the progress of his confession, and I thought so that is the type of the daily operation, and on the principle of the enemy who was arrested and would not be released, I believed both Nat and I. And even if my superior understood this uh, principle clearly, and nobody there to violate that principle, separately, at the time, there was one violation of the principle committed by NAT. He arrested combatants from his former unit unilaterally, and this is, that was a violation of the principle, and on that matter, I would like your, the President, whether you want me to report on this particular point, or I can speak on this particular point at a later stage. Mr. President, now we are dealing with the operation, uh, with the only the implementation of the policy, and we will deal later with the operations of the S-21. So we only focus now on the major, major grounds for the implementation of the policy at S-21. Another point that we want to raise, the Chamber doesn't have any that uh, official document, but at the request of the co-investigating judges to, to, the, to France, but there was no uh, reply officially. You sent a letter through a victim of M13, that is uh, Mr. Francois Bizot, to the French embassy. And the content of the letter is the implementation of the party's policy in smashing the seven traitors during the Lonel of the Lonel regime and other people who did not who did not join the revolution. So the question is, do, can you recall the content of the letter that was sent through François Bizot to the uh, French embassy? And the second question is, whether the policy of smashing subsequently after the 17 April 75 is consistent with the content of the letter that was sent from M13 to the French embassy, the accused, Mr. President, I would like to report uh, as the, the following. One, about the political program of the 
Cambodia Reconciliation Front, the policy of this uh, National Reconciliation Front is an open document, internally and externally, that is, inside the country and overseas. So, it was about to strive to collect the forces without thinking of any political tendencies before the coup on the 18th of March 1970. And there was one section describing about self-independence, self-reliance, that is, the Communist Party of Cambodia, the Cambodia Revolution, did not rely on the Vietnamese Communist Party. But at that time, we did not even dare to mention that name. The words they used was self-independence stands, self-reliance stands. So these stances were towards the Vietnamese Communist Party. That is, we did not want their leadership. So to sum up, the document of this uh, National Reconciliation Front is an open document, both overseas and domestic, and it did not talk about the purchase or the smash. It only talks about collecting the forces. So it is open and extensive. So it is more extensive than the strategic uh, planning of collecting forces, which I learned through my training at the later stage. If we look at the date, I think it was the 23rd of March, then the Cambodia National Reconciliation Front was uh, announced to be formed. It was established by some intellectuals, also some of those who were from Beijing. So it was not uh, a pure document on the Communist Party of Cambodia. After the 20th, a little bit after the 23rd of March, that document was uh, released. And the document on the seven super traitors, I do not recall uh, many of them. I only recall the name, Siso Wat Serimatak, Lunol, Lunan, for instance, um, I don't recall the rest. It was a, an announcement during the time of the final attack. So the first of the final attack started the 1st of January 75. Therefore, that announcement was towards the 17th April 75. So. The, 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 the announcement of these seven traitors and the date of the document was uh, uh, different. And if you compare these two documents, uh, it was different. And the writing was not based on the previous document. It, the writing did not base on the political program of the National Reconciliation Front in order to analyze and to conclude the policy, the policy of the Communist Party of Cambodia. This is my response to you, Mr. President. The President, do you still remember that uh, during the, the previous hearings there were a uh, debate regarding uh, the content in the testimony of uh, Mr. François Bizot concerning the document uh, you sent through him to the French uh, embassy, and the embassy uh, asked him to translate that uh, document. Do you know what is the document about? Response, it was not the, my personal letter, it was the document of the National United Front of Cambodia. Uh, it was the policy of uh, the National United Front of Cambodia, and uh, that document is a public document uh, to support uh, the collections of uh, forces. 
le ralliement des forces uh, afin d'appuyer uh, la résistance contre les Américains. So it was not my personal letter. Il ne s'agissait pas d'une lettre personnelle National United Front de ma main, il s'agissait d'un document du FUNK photos, et d'autres documents who who suivis. Picture, but there was no picture of Brother Ham or Kill Some Pond. Uh, so far as I recall, photo du frère Nem ou de Kill Some Pond. The president. Le président. Judges of uh, the trial chamber, would you Madame et wish les juges to put questions uh, to the accused concerning the facts at issue? S'agissant so des you, faits the floor dont is il est question ce matin, so. je vous en prie. The president judge uh, Lavenge, you Monsieur take le juge the floor. Lavergne, je vous en prie. Tout d'abord peut. Tout d'abord peut-être une précision aux fins de euh, des notes d'audience. Il a été euh, beaucoup question ce matin de la décision du 30 mars 1900. Est-ce que ça fonctionne Un instant, il y a un problème technique dans la cabine anglaise. It is all right now. Le problème est maintenant réglé. Les interprètes Entend. peuvent poursuivre. Oui Yes, the English booth can hear Judge Lavergne. Je disais qu'il a été beaucoup Judge question Lavergne. ce matin du document morning, présenté comme étant euh, une décision ou une directive du comité uh, central du Parti communiste du Kampuchea en date Kampuchea du 30 mars 1976, document dont vous avez parlé ce matin. You mentioned this document Alors, j'indique euh, que ce document indique, euh, existe dans les trois versions officielle. S'agissant donc de la version Khmer, vous aviez commencé à donner les références de RN. Il s'agit donc du document 00003136 à 3142. S'agissant de la version anglaise, ces références sont les suivantes. 0018 2809 à 00182814. Et la version française, les numéros sont les suivants 0022 43 63 à 0022 43 67. J'ai un, un certain nombre de questions. Je ne sais pas s'il est opportun de faire une pause maintenant ou euh, si vous préférez que je commence tout de suite à poser des questions, M. le Président. And uh, we will have a break uh, after a few questions. Vous pouvez poursuivre avec vos questions et uh, nous prendre la pause après quelques questions. Alors, j'aimerais que l'on puisse, avant d'aborder les questions concernant la mise en œuvre de la politique du Parti communiste du Kampuchea au sein de S21, J'aimerais qu'on puisse resituer, je dirais, le contexte idéologique général. Pour cela, j'aimerais qu'on puisse tout d'abord se référer à la constitution du Kampuchea démocratique. C'est un document qui existe au dossier, mais uniquement dans deux versions. La version cambodgienne, le numéro 2 RN, et le 000 89 841 
à 000 89 852. Dans la version anglaise, ce document existe sous les numéros de RN suivants 00 18 48 33 à 00 18 48 39. Il n'existe donc pas de version française dans le dossier. Cependant, euh, il existe un livre intitulé « Les constitutions du Cambodge ». 1953-1993, texte rassemblé et présenté par Raoul Marc Génard, et donc une traduction de la Constitution, y figure des pages 65 à 72 de ce, euh, de ce livre. Donc s'il n'y a pas d'objection de la part des parties, je propose que l'on remette aux parties une version française de euh, ce document. The floor is yours, uh, says the President to the co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honour. Uh, we have a French version, which we understand to be in the case Nous file, and we can give the, the ERN number to Judge Laverne. Um, the re reference in French is S000-12644. To 12659. And this is introductory submission document Annex C, document 9.2. Uh, the um, co-prosecutor, could you please repeat uh, the annex number because the interpreter could not uh, follow the suit, uh, please repeat, thanks. Certainly, Your Honour, it is uh, uh, introductory submission Annex C, document D, sorry, document 9.2, and I should state for the record that this document is not a translation, it is an original document created contemporaneously by Democratic Cambodia government. Voilà, merci, Monsieur le Procureur. Cela va simplifier les, les choses. Donc, vous nous avez dit que vous aviez effectuer des formations politiques au sein de S21. Est-ce qu'il s'agit d'un document sur lequel apporter votre formation Est-ce que vous connaissez ce document I would like to report uh, to you concerning the training at S21. The annual training conducted based on the lessons we learned at the general staff and what we were presented and taught then after we left uh, the session then we would uh, be given the uh, presentation text so that we could uh, train our subordinates so the lessons we learned were changed each year and uh, the lesson I taught uh, or trained our people in the unit also changed uh, respectively. Regarding the, uh, the constitution document, frankly, I, have, I had never taught uh, them using that document because this document is more a barrier to conceal the, the dictatorship 
pour in dissimuler the part, uh, la line of the party. et la ligne stratégique du parti. I did not use, uh, uh, introduce in my training Je n'ai pas kind abordé of I have uh, been away de, de long ago from that document that I cannot refer to any particular uh, document, uh, article. Maybe uh, article de de, fi- des uh, the chapter de façon 15 Peut-être or something le, which le mentions about uh, religion. And I will say why it is a barrier. Uh, article 15, euh, chapter 13, I I think uh, you, I stand to be corrected, uh, in that article uh, it says every Cambodian has the right to believe in any religion or not to believe in any religion. But uh, it, uh, people have to really Reactionary religions are religions to be absolutely forbidden. Sont so people who follow religions uh, are also uh, 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 can exercise their right, uh, and while people who don't want to believe in any religion can also exercise their right according to the constitution. That's why constitution, this kind of document uh, is considered as the barrier to, voilà in our training. It's not really the foundation for training people to understand or to build the uh, class stance or class line. So uh, once again, I only taught uh, my subordinates uh, based on what Donc, I had been taught during the annual training I obtained uh, uh, from my superior. Donc, Judge si Lavelle. je so, comprends bien ce que I vous dites, ce document était destiné à une diffusion publique, mais il était aussi destiné à cacher la véritable ligne politique du Parti communiste du Kampuchea. Ou est-ce que, euh, ou est-ce que j'ai mal compris Your Honours, Monsieur le Président, I would like to clarify that uh, what you have understood concerning what I have just reported is correct. The Constitution of the Democratic Kampuchea is a barrier. La Constitution du démocratique est une barrière. In French, is uh, uh, called a façade to shield, uh, to conceal the criminal acts of um, their own. En effet, c'est pour dissimuler les actes. So that's my clarification uh, in response to your voilà last question. Voilà la précision que j'aimerais apporter vis-à-vis de la dernière question que vous venez de poser. On est dans une période qui se qualifie de révolutionnaire. On est avec euh, une idéologie qui veut installer une certaine forme de société. Je vais lire ce qui est dans le préambule de la Constitution et vous me direz si ça correspond aux objectifs de la Révolution. Donc c'est le, le préambule so et preamble, c'est euh, l'avant-dernier paragraphe. Is, uh, paragraph, Considérant les aspirations du peuple du Kampuchea tout entier people, et de l'armée révolutionnaire du Kampuchea tout entière, qui désire un Kampuchea indépendant, uni, pacifique, peaceful, 
neutre, non aligné, souverain dans son intégrité territoriale, dans une société où règne le bonheur, l'égalité, la justice et la démocratie véritable, sans riches ni pauvres, sans classe exploiteuse ni classe exploitée. Une société dans laquelle tout le peuple vit dans l'harmonie et dans la grande union nationale et s'unit pour participer au travail de production, édifier et défendre ensemble le pays. Donc, Qu'est-ce qui correspond, selon vous, à des principes idéologiques véritables Et qu'est-ce qui correspond, selon vous, à une façade Can understand it is a barrier starting when Cambodia builds a peaceful society. À partir du moment où le Cambodge pourra construire une société pacifique. If we ask ourselves what what is the peace for? For whom? C'est pour qui? À qui sert la paix? If you ask this question, whether si uh, peace is uh, si for the interest of whom uh, during the communist regime? Pendant le régime communiste. Sorry, uh, correction: happiness, not peace, uh, from the bonheur, interpreter. Pas la paix. If we ask ourselves whether happiness si is for whom, then the com communist uh, people in that regime, on se rend compte que les communistes dans ce régime, including me myself, I would say moi, that compris. the happiness was for the labor class and peasant class. Je dirais que le bonheur pour la classe paysanne, pour les travailleurs. Né, chi rô bang đe kê ni yê kroi ni lô ô mư la. Kô pân tai, vi bong kop nê ni an wat pân. In that kind of text, uh, the meaning of dictatorship already Et embedded in that sens, version. Uh, Et cette version de la dictature était en quelque sorte déjà euh, visible dans cette version. That's all my response. Voilà ma réponse. The president, uh, the chamber would like to take a 20-minute break and resume at 11 a.m.